and we ran into this uh, beach property that was right on the famous surf break of K38. And um, we thought, man, what an opportunity to like raise a surf family and make some money and do an Airbnb and create an awesome experience. Definitely with uh, having a four month old baby um, and taking on two, not just one, but two houses across the border in Mexico. So many of our friends have called us crazy. One thing that she wanted to implement that I was kind of like, God, oh, do we really need to do that? Was like having. So, Sean, yeah. nice to meet you. Do you want to give us an introduction to who you have with you? Yeah, this is Noah. This is Bobby and I's um, son. He's four and a half months old. Wow. And uh, yeah, so we just got married actually yesterday at Justice of the Peace. So kind of wrapped it all up and um, Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations on like so many fronts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Right, so um, so tell me a bit more about your 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 property and how how you got into it and what you guys do. Um, let's hear a bit more about that. Um, yeah, so Bobby and I, I um, what we do for a living is I'm a landscape designer and pool designer, and uh, Bobby actually builds the pools and we work at Majestic Pools in San Diego, and so. Um, Anyways, we're just, we surf and um, we went down to Rosarito actually to go to this TJ water park that has this slip and fly. Mm -hmm. And we ran into this uh, beach property that was right on the famous surf break of K38. And um, we thought, man, what an opportunity to like raise a surf family and make some money and do an Airbnb and create an awesome experience. So we've been looking at this for like a year um, and we just pulled the trigger like a few months ago. Okay, So awesome. And how's it gone so far? Like how, how have you found it so far? I bet, I bet it's been kind of a lot of work <laughs> to, up to now. <laughs> oh man, it's been so much work because we just had Noah and um, you know, it's not just one property, it's two properties. So we have one major, uh, here, babe, can you uh, take over just for a second? I'm going to reposition him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the house is unique, uh, in, or the property, I should say, is unique. Uh, there's a five bedroom house that's literally right on the ocean. Um, it has a seawall that, uh, the house is built over and, um, it's five bedrooms, really a beautiful, beautiful property. Uh, and it's on the famous K38 surf break, which, you know, many surfers around the world are familiar with the yeah. different kilometers in Mexico. They measure it from the border. So a lot of the surfers, they speak in the terms of Ks. So this is the K38 surf break and uh, the main house is right on the water. And then there's a surf bungalow that's behind that house, which is two and a half bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, really awesome, cute surf bungalows. So um, we've done our best to, you know, facilitate bringing materials, you know, new comforters, bed sheets. Uh, we've done some work on the deck railing and it's uh, it's been an awesome experience so far, but definitely challenging with it being in Mexico. Yeah, I can imagine. I can absolutely imagine. You know how uh, how enthused I feel hearing your story. Like I'm a keen surfer myself. Where I'm from, London, we don't have surf breaks, but I travel to surf, and I love I oh. love surfing and I love business. And you guys have managed to so far put the two together. I mean, it must be amazing to have your a business venture literally in front of a great surf spot. Like that must be that must be that must be so much fun. Yeah, it must be so. Yeah, much. no, it's really, it's really cool. And you know, one thing that we've experienced with going down there is there's uh, a lot of uh, retired people from America that have experienced the life, uh, you know, just across the border. And um, we've encountered a lot of younger people too. Like, uh, there's a coffee shop that's within walking distance, and um, it's called Hogar de Fuego. Okay. and there's a couple there that just had a baby as well so when we go down there we really feel like we're 
uh, a part of this community and this family. Uh, and it feels, it feels really good. You know, we feel like we have a, a little home away from home and, um, you know, definitely out of the norm for what most people do for, um, as a side hustle or a business. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can imagine. So how often are you guys down there? I would say, uh, we try to go at least twice a month. Um, you know, we, we got the, the large house up and running and so far it's been very successful. We have, uh, we were completely booked out in December and we have uh, bookings in January and still more coming in. But our main goal uh, was to get that other house ready to be rented as well so that we could uh, become profitable. So we spent a, a lot of time down there. I took about a week and a half off of work initially and we just went down there with the uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. We try to go, you know, uh, at least a couple weekends, but now with it being rented out, it's yeah. a little more challenging because we have to figure out when we can go down there when there's not somebody staying there or block out the dates. Uh, it has been a lot of work and we're doing our best to make sure that it's still fun for us because that's why we got into it. Um, you know, of course we want to make money, but really we saw it as a place that we could grow with Noah and teach him how to surf for the first time and, you know, go fishing and, and just really enjoy our life uh, together. So the, that work-life balance is something that we've been really uh, searching for with this property. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's a, uh, it's an interesting point because like I find in like in the business, in business, in life, let's say in life, it's about striking that, that balance between work, work and, and play and I, I feel that the two are very uh, they're so closely intertwined that they're there's no like we're not uh in our work in my work day it's not like uh oh it's just work it's like no I work and play at the same time I enjoy both and 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 that's where the, the balance is struck so like um you know when you're when you're talking about your, your kid learning to surf right outside your 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 work your, your vacation rental it's kind of like that is the perfect balance you've got like a you got family and 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 sport and adventure and everything else tied into the business. So like, I I honestly listening to you speak, I want to come down to K thirty eight. Yeah, no, you totally should. Yeah, no, I will do. I'll, I'll hit it up for sure. San Diego as well. You know, we live here in San Diego, and uh, we'd love to uh, take you out and show you around the town. Have you ever been to San Diego? Do you know what? I haven't. But my oddly enough, my grandmother used to go there all the time. We have family there, and. Uh, We'd, we'd take her to the airport like in her like late 80s stick her on a plane and she'd she'd fly over to san diego and like come back saying she had the best time because we've got family there to look, look after and she'd tell me about it but uh i think i need to i need to hit up that part of the world more so um so what's the biggest uh biggest challenge you face today does it feel like you have challenges <laughs> well i think definitely with uh having a four-month-old baby um and taking on two not just one but two houses across the border in mexico so many of our friends have called us crazy and um you know it was just a dream that shauna and i believed in so much that we were like you know what if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out we just have to go for it and um you know it's definitely one thing the dream versus the reality so there there have been some challenges uh you know one thing like i mentioned in crossing the border with uh all of the stuff, supplies, you know, you've got to get Mexican car insurance. You've got to make sure you have pesos. Uh, you have to learn how to interact with the, the people uh, and the communities there that have been established. And, you know, I speak Spanish a little bit, but, and it's definitely gotten better, but that's been a hurdle. Um, luckily we found an amazing uh, woman down there through our real estate broker um, who helps us clean the properties and she's just been really great. So, um, that's a huge blessing for us, but I would say, um, yeah, those are some of the major challenges, especially with a, a young, young baby. Sure. So that, so that leads me on to the next point. How do you manage it with team? Like who have you got involved? Uh, who have, I mean, you, you mentioned you have somebody helping you with the physical management of the properties. Do you have somebody else man helping you manage the, the online digital, um, element to the business so right now we uh shauna and i basically i'm the host and shauna is the co-host uh, and we both just manage everything through airbnb we haven't really gotten to the automated um portions you know that's something that we definitely want to look into as we get busier um 
but no, we definitely just, uh, we manage it pretty manually through Airbnb and we def we tag team it together. Sure. Um, Okay, uh, so uh, the next question that that would lead me on to, and Shauna, I'll di direct this one to you now that you're you're back and baby free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next question that would lead me on to is, where are you uh, advertising? Where are you getting your guests from? Um, well, we got a lot from family and friends to start off with. Um, and now we're actually, we have gotten some um, off of Instagram. Instagram has been great. Um, and just Airbnb has been really promoting our um, our place rather quickly. So that's been really fortunate because we heard that it's hard to climb that ladder, is, you know. Sorry to jump in, but with your with your particular properties, I mean, I've seen your, your Instagram, obviously. And uh, I mean, with this kind of property, it jumps out at you, you know, like you're, you're <laughs> such an amazing spot. It's like it grabs your eye straight away and, and Airbnb particularly not just Airbnb, the OTAs in general like to promote these kind of uh, the, these, these properties that have something special about them. Um, you know, it's not a vanilla apartment in the middle of some city looking out with the aspect, looking out at another property. It's, 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 it's something quite special. So I guess it, you, you, you'll, you'll be pushed to the front of the queue by, by these OTAs. Um, so what do you spend most of your time doing as a host, Shauna? Um, well, Bobby, actually handles a lot of the clients like day in and day out just like texting them if they need help with directions and um and I just kind of manage the Instagram um and I kind of since I have a passion for design it was kind of like my job to get make sure we had everything there as far as like cook stuff and new bedding and um we so we have kind of our roles and um, I'm starting to help now that we got the, the back house, the K38 surf bungalow up and running. Um, and, uh, and so that's kind of how we have it. Yeah. Sure. Going yeah right now. Shauna is amazing with design. She like, it, she scours for inspiration and she can really put something together. And like you said, you know, it's not a vanilla condo in a hot, I rise. It's authentic K38 surf break in Mexico. And you really get that, that vibe, that authentic feel yeah. when you're there. And Shauna has done a great job, you know, meticulously going through different materials and, you know, whether it's down at a uh, market in Mexico, getting, you know, unique serapes or, you know, if she's sourcing different materials. So she kind of uh, puts together the plan and, and I, um, I execute it and install <laughs> yeah, excellent, excellent. you know what I, I i can i can i can totally see from your your instagram there's there's a lot of uh personal touches and it you've you've made a you've made a house a home um so well done Thank like it, it, it looks amazing i i'm 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 almost booking my flights <laughs> <laughs> um, that's awesome so so uh so looking back uh what advice would you give your your former self when you were starting out if any um, babe, you want to, you want to take this one? Yeah. So I would say for us, we're, we're very ambitious and, um, you know, we, we definitely take on sometimes more than we could handle initially. Um, so for ourselves, I would say that, you know, the experience has been very rich and amazing. So, um, you know, I, I would just, uh, if I was speaking to somebody else, I would say maybe start smaller instead of a five bedroom and then another two and a half bedroom house uh in mexico it's just such a crazy thing to take on um but for us you know i think uh just getting all the um all the cost benefit analysis you know really do the uh um all the bookkeeping to make sure that you know you have a a target profitability um date that's uh that's something that we've been working on right okay some good advice there yeah make sure you do your your numbers yeah, yeah. exactly and maybe maybe if, if it's somebody else you know just starting small um we've we've been able to um you know work with uh the property owner um on the lease and that's something big that's going around right now is the rental arbitrage so 
you know, for people that can't afford to purchase a property, especially in Mexico, if, if you, you know, have spent enough time there and, and really can get established in with a real estate broker, there might be a property that somebody is looking to do a situation like this and it could open up, you know, doors for you uh, that you would have never imagined. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So, um, so do, do you have any tools or do you have any, uh, yeah, like what kind of tools do you use that make your life easier as a host? Do you have any kind of any hacks you could recommend to other hosts? Well, Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Um, yeah, that's a godsend. Um, you know, and I think uh, Shauna has a lot of tools that she uses. Um, you know, she researches a lot of properties and um you know she's always on pinterest and airbnb looking at the competition and you know it was like one thing that she wanted to implement that i was kind of like oh do we really need to do that was like having you know fiji water bottles and welcome cards um there it's just that that personal touch that's added and you know some guests have really um uh, they've noticed that and uh yeah so i think just doing your homework and researching um, and really just becoming obsessed about it because, you know, it's not going to be successful unless you believe in it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Some good advice there. Some real good advice. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for your time. It's been so interesting talking to you both. I, I have uh, nothing but admiration for what you guys are doing and massive congrats on, on everything that you've, you, you've achieved so far and on, on, on your wedding yesterday as well. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you, Clyde. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. it's been great talking to you too and meeting yeah. you too. Thank you. Yeah, we hope to do this again uh, when we uh, open new properties. Well, perhaps <laughs> we should we should uh, we should reconvene in six months or so and see how you guys are getting on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's yeah, great. No, it's, it's great. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll um I'll, I'll draw the the podcast to a close at this point. I can I can edit afterwards. But but guys, thank you so much for your. Uh, your time and honestly it's it's so uh inspiring to hear what you're up to and you know fortune favors the brave so go for it absolutely thank you so much yeah. and we'd love to have you cheers thank you i'm gonna All i'm right. gonna come over there when i do i'll, I'll definitely send you a message <laughs> okay. please do happy new year clive yeah likewise guys cheers have a good day all right cheers. Bye. Bye.